Come on, guys, keep up. Oh, excuse me, what's the hurry? I've got a lot to get through today, Doris. What's more important than a stroll in the sunshine? Oh, what's that smell? Oh, rabbit! What, so you're a hunting dog now? It's never too late to learn new tricks. This is why you don't have a boyfriend. You're too judgmental. That's my reminder. I have to go. We only just got here. Come on, things to do, sorry. I want a refund. Dara, that's my seat. A change is as good as a holiday, sis. Just move it, goblin breath. Where have you been? You're late. I have a very tight schedule. Good grief. That's absolutely amazing. What, Professor? You're all here on time. Let's see if we can get some work done without interruption. Oh, except that it's letterbox day. Darren, I did it last time, Professor. In that case, Lily and Imogen? If we have to. And Cara will accompany you. Uh, we don't need her. Of course you don't. But... I'm sure Kyra will benefit from seeing the proficiency with which you handle the situation. The information's all in there. So, break for me and Roxy? Oh, no. I have something very important for you two. So, what's the deal with this letterbox? On the 23rd of every month, anyone who touches the letterbox between 10.59 and 11.03 in the morning gets turned into a dog. Why leave it? Why not replace it? The DMI tried, but the box kept coming back. Uh, uh, we don't need that. The job couldn't be simpler. All we have to do is stop anyone from touching the box for four minutes. Uh, hey, Maddie. Is that Kyra? Uh, you know it is. I'm not so sure. The Kyra I know is supposed to be at basketball practice. Um, I'm on my way. Sorry, gotta go. Kyra, I'd only be in the way. Let me know how it goes. Sorry, Maddie. Got held up. Doing what? <laughs> to stay in the comp, every game from now has to be a win. I don't need you distracted. Got a lot of stuff on at the moment. A lot of stuff. We get the same homework. We play on the same team. What could you possibly have to do that I don't? Are we here to talk or play? You said you had something important for us. Lost property suitcase. It's important. As you know, lost property is collected in here and registered in the ledger. The item is matched with the owner. Hmm. In this case, Mr. P. Marshall, 12 Newton Parade. And the item is returned. See if you can empty it before the others return. This is lame. No. Reuniting lost things with the owners is like granting a wish. It's fun. You have a strange sense of fun. Pink mobile phone. Mrs. Alice Hackford, 74 Elm Street. she would have enjoyed this. It's obvious where her priorities lie. All clear. Should be any time now. We're on. Oh, pixie dust. It's Mrs. Spencer. She mustn't touch the box. Stop her. Me? You're the one who needs to work on their people skills. This isn't the time. True, it could take years. Lily, go. I left the door 
tripping and naughty Toby ran out. I think he went into your backyard. Could you please take me in to have a look? Of course, dear. I'm sorry he wasn't there. Toby's my best friend. I don't know what I'd do without him. I'm sure you'll find him. You have got to be kidding. Imogen, you had one job! But there was two postmen. How was I supposed to know? We're gonna get expelled. My parents are gonna disown me. I'm gonna have to live in a cave with trolls. We can fix this. We just have to turn him back. Yes. Right. All we have to do is turn a dog back into a postman. Simple. Where did the dog go? You think you can get past me? I don't think. I know. Do that with every shot from now, and the trophy's out. So, no pressure then. <laughs> okay, everyone, take a break. Do we have to? I have to use one. Can we make it short? I have so much on today. What is taking up your time? Have you, have you met someone? What? No. Come on, spill. Do I know him? There's nothing to tell. You sure? Because you seem different. Can you just let it go? Okay. How about we start again? Cody, Holly, let's go. Come on. One pair of false teeth. How does anyone lose their teeth? We should get extra credit for this. Mr. Julia Grimes, three Helix Crescent. Now this is cool. One. Who? It makes anything play the same sound as it's playing. It's not a toy. It's a magical object that we need to keep stored here. About time. You can take over. Uh, can't, sorry. We had a problem. Tell me you didn't. So a postman turned into a dog. Big deal. <laughs> we just have to find the dog and turn him back. You lost the dog, too. I hope you look. No, you have to stay here. Professor Maxwell can't know. But any ideas on how to change him back when we find him? Well, if you read the folder, you would know you need to put him back in front of the letterbox before sunset. Why sunset? With this type of magic, if you don't reverse the transformation before then, it becomes permanent. This day just keeps getting better. Hi, Steve. I would. Hey, Kyra! Did you see that? What? The ball, it, it looked like it bounced off something. But that's impossible. I saw it. 
I just remembered something. Got to go. But now? So you lost the dog. What can I do? You speak dog. I've only ever communicated with one dog. Fine. Get her to find the postman dog. Then you can go back to your silly basket game. It won't take long. My postman. Uh, no. Why? Well, those are his things. Why would he leave them here? Bathroom break. Or urgent phone call. Why don't you go inside and I'll wait for him to come back? What are you doing? I'm looking for my pension check. No, you can't disturb the mail. I'm sure it's illegal or something. <laughs> oh, Steve. What? Don't touch anything. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. We didn't mean to do this to you. But come with me and we'll make it all better. Basta. Don't worry, Posty. Imogen will be back soon and we'll fix you all up. I thought you were looking for your cat. Uh, yes. Well, funny thing. <laughs> You're so going to laugh at this. That's my dog. Uh, are you sure he's yours? Please. Who was this? No idea. Put it back, the name might turn up later. The others should be back by now. What are we going to tell the professor? Imogen and Lily aren't back yet? They were, then there was a report of a laundromat washing machine sucking up socks. They went back out to investigate. Let me know as soon as they get back. The day's getting away from us. That's her? Thought we were getting a tracker dog, not this creature. Tell your friend that she shouldn't judge a book by its cover, because there's plenty I could say about hers. What did she say? She said she's happy to help. Doris, we need you to find a missing postman. Can you track his scent if you sniff his things? I have my standards, you know. There are limits to what I'll stick my nose into. So you'll do it? That depends. What's in it for me? What are we going to do with all these socks? Sock puppets? Dara. OK. We can send one back with every lost object we return. Think of it as a bonus. Where's Imogen? I thought she might be here. She went to look for the dog. That was a while ago. She go find her. I'll go too. Oh, no. I'm not staying here on my own with the professor. Oh, no. My dad's here. I didn't know your father was a policeman. Are we doing something illegal? I don't think so. You found the dog? No. This is the dog we're using to find the dog. Well, that makes sense. I think. He's cute. So this is your boyfriend? No. Why not? If he had a tail, I'd ask him out. Can we just focus on finding the postman, please? Sensitive as my nose is, I can't pick up a scent from here. Stay here. I thought you had basketball practice. We finished, Ellie. Didn't you do dog walking already? Doris needs more exercise. I can still hear you. What's going on here? It appears we have a missing postman. Look, keep her away, Car. I don't want her missing up the scene. Kara! Sorry, Dad. Bad dog, Doris. Bad dog. Enough? Yes. Uh, no treats for you today, naughty dog. See you at home, dog. 
Well, that was humiliating. Have you ever wondered why it's only one sock that disappears? Why don't they go missing in pairs? I don't care about socks. They should have come back by now. Something else must have gone wrong. Lily, you're back. Where's Imogen? Still out with the washing machine? Yep, that's where she is. And Dara's gone to hell. Hmm. Nothing else I should know about. Let me know the moment they arrive back. Come on, dog. I could find him faster than you. Then tell your friend to get down and start sniffing. What did she say? She thinks she's getting close. If she were a bloodhound instead of Mrs. Sniffles, this would be over. That's it. I quit. Doris, no! I'm not moving until she apologizes. What's up? You upset her. She wants you to say sorry. I am not apologizing to a dog. A dog? I am a full breed boxer from an impeccable bloodline. She's our only hope. You better do it, sis. Sorry. Not good enough. I want a proper apology to my face. She wants you to do it again. Down there. I so want to see this. She's out of her tiny mind. And again with the insults. Oh, she's got the manners of a pit bull. She's not moving until you do. I'm sorry. Good dog. So you notice the bike and mail satchel abandoned just before midday? That's what I see. And before that, you didn't see or hear anything unusual? There was a girl looking for a lost cat. She was quite odd. You'll beget an armoured croissant, Mrs. Thank Spencer. Thank you, Peter. Hey, Sergeant Glenn. What's happening? A missing postman. Nothing sinister, I'm sure. When we get back, if the professor asks about a washing machine, just let me handle it, okay? A washing machine? What? I smell cabbage, coffee grounds, and canine fur, with a hint of postage stamp glue. She's found him. About time. Where? Not so fast, girlie. We need to agree on my compensation. I said you could have dog treats. Oh, please. Like biscuits are gonna cut it now. I want bones. Okay, bones. And a foot massage. My paws are killing me. Fine. Now, can you please show us where he is? Sure, that's him? Yes, but he's more confused than a corgi. He's worried about his postal round, but he also wants to chase cars. Oh, what did you do to him? <laughs> Later, let's get you home and him back to the letterbox. It's almost sunset. We should be able to help you. I'm not doing this stupid job. I'm sure Imogen and Dara have it under control. Poor postman. What if he has a family? How are they going to feel having to call a dog dad? He's behind me, isn't he? Oh, no. It'll be sunset in two minutes. Any ideas? And then I brought the wrong dog back. But Mrs. Spencer thought I was looking for a cat. It wasn't anybody's fault. I mean, how were we meant to know there'd be two postmen? Do you understand what she's saying? Ah, Dara, can you... Sorry, no time. No need to hang around, Peter. There's nothing strange here. You can't be certain. There was a guy in the States who was abducted out of his milk truck and a woman who was taken from her lounge room. Where did you go? What's that? Don't worry. I've got this. <laughs>
What? What was that? I don't know. There, mate. I'm very disappointed in y'all. Would someone care to explain to me how a simple task became a total debacle? Next time you're given a task, if there is a next time, read the file first. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The only one who showed any competence in this sorry affair was a dog. I hope you made her feel appreciated. Why is it just me walking today? Where's Coco and Digger? Oh, don't tell me you've lost another postman. We have something for you. Oh, if I'd known you were throwing me a dinner party, I'd have had a bath and worn my best collar. And Imogen and Lily have something to say? Thank, Thank you, you, Doris. Doris. You want something found again? You come see Doris. I'm your dog. But next time, do me a favour. What? Don't bring the rude one. What did she say? She said, you're welcome. <laughs>